I previously uploaded a detailed video on Midjourney's consistent character C-Ref feature. Today, I'll quickly summarize how Midjourney C-Ref works. This will be a concise overview, perfect for those new to the feature or needing a quick refresher. So how does the Midjourney character reference feature work? You start with a base image. You can either load it into Midjourney or use an existing image you created previously. If you upload an image from outside Midjourney, it will automatically change the face so it doesn't exactly replicate the original. This is likely to be a safeguard to ensure that you aren't creating deep fakes of a real person. Here's the image I used. I created Jessica for one of my previous videos. Here's the general workflow for using their method. First, you start with your basic image. Copy the URL of that image. Next, write a prompt to put your character in a particular setting or pose. The next step is crucial. Add dash dash CREF to the end of your prompt and add the URL you copied in step two. The last step is optional. Add a character weight using dash dash CW to the end of your prompt. Here's how it works in practice. Here's the prompt I used with the CREF URL. Jessica reads a book on the bus dash dash CREF. I insert my URL. You should get four variations using the same character. The character weight parameter modifies the strength of the consistency. It ranges from zero to 100. Zero focuses on the face only. This is useful if you want to change to a different outfit, hair, etc. You can describe their outfit and the setting in your prompt. 100 is the default and uses the face, hair and clothes of the character in your base image. This is how much of your base image character will carry over to the new image. In both Discord and the website, you add dash dash CW to the end of your prompt. Here's another base image I used. It's Jessica, the fast food worker that I created in a different video. I added dash dash CW 100 to the end of my prompt. And here's the result. It kept some of her clothing like the red cap, but it didn't keep her yellow shirt. Notice how the red-yellow color combination from the base image is reflected in the color of her book. The characters are all consistent with each other, but maybe not the same as the base image. And here's the result when I used CW0. This time, she's not wearing the cap, but the yellow-red coloring is still reflected in the coloring of her book and her clothing in the first image. The characters all look consistent with each other, but aren't the same as the original image. When you use CW0, it mainly just pulls through the face. This is a huge leap forward for Midjourney, but there are two big issues I noticed. First, it doesn't reliably replicate clothing and other smaller details. This might not be a big issue if you're creating single images of your character in different environments, but it is a big deal if you want your character to look the same from one scene to the next, like in an AI-generated film or a graphic novel you would have to stick with using simple clothing to avoid continuity issues. And second, you can't create multiple consistent characters in one scene. The C ref images will blend into one character, like this. I'll cover how to create consistent costumes and characters in my next video, and I'll also cover how to create multiple consistent characters within one scene in an upcoming video. I'll link to both videos here.